रिलायंस के नतीजों पर सीएफओ आलोक अग्रवाल इस वक्त मीडिया को संबोधित कर रहे हैं सीधे लिए चलते हैं आपको मार्जिन मच सॉफ्टर डाउन ऑलमोस्ट फोर डॉलर अ बैरल कम्पेयर टू प्रीवियस क्वार्टर नेफ्था वॉज सॉफ्टर मच सॉफ्टर दैन द प्रीवियस क्वार्टर एंड फ्यूएल ऑयल मार्जिन रियली वट व मच वीकर दैन द प्रीवियस क्वार्टर as when we look at our performance we also compare with us gulf coast as well as european refining margin environments and even in that comparison us gulf coast at about 8 dollars per barrel and european at about 4 and a half we have done well across all comparisons there are five reasons that i would highlight as to why we have done well in refining the first and foremost is that middle distillates which includes gas oil and aviation fuel and which account for nearly 45% of our product slate were better by nearly a dollar per barrel secondly our crude sourcing spans really fuel oil linkage brent dubai linkage and arab light heavy linkage as a complex refiner so for weak fuel oil a narrower brand dubai and a stable arab light heavy arab heavy differential we benefited on across all those three parameters and were able to source crude very competitively in this quarter risk management is an integral part of uh, our approach to our refining business and managing the earnings and this quarter we benefited from very strong risk management both across product at product and crudes fourthly domestic absorption increased and we now have over a thousand retail stations open the productivity of our retail stations is between 30 to 35% higher than the industry average and we were able to place 21% more volume of uh, both diesel and petrol in our retail stations as compared to the previous quarter finally we did have uh, a build up in inventory towards the end of last quarter in preparation for the shutdown and we were able to liquidate that inventory at better prices than at the end of the last quarter so that's really what underpinned our record performance from our refinery moving on to our petrochemical business in this business we had uh, flat revenues as compared to both previous quarter and last year despite uh, flat revenues we had a stand out quarter as far as earnings are concerned ebit at 2806 crores is not only up 20% y on y is a record for this business ebit margin at 13.5% is an expansion of nearly 2.3% over last year and is also a near record for this business we have had ebit margin expansion for nine consecutive quarters in our petrochemical business so this validates really the strength of that portfolio it also speaks about the benefits of integration as our petrochemicals and refinery businesses are completely integrated which you know when we look at the demand environment we saw as i said earlier a strong growth in the polymer se- segment we saw 6% domestic demand growth for polyethylene we saw 11% domestic demand growth for polypropylene and 22% domestic demand growth for pvc so a strong domestic market which is deficit and which is able to absorb everything that we produce really gives us the opportunity to get expanding margins and have 100% plus operating rates when we look at the margin environment there are four real reasons why we got better margins in our petrochemical business the first one was naphtha really lacked crude oil so naphtha is a one of our key feed stocks a principal feed stock and the weakness in naphtha really allowed us to see better margins across the chain the second reason is prop- propylene which is also a key input was also soft this quarter a combination of new capacity of uh, pdh coming on stream and some maintenance in polypropylene units so 
we benefited from a widening polypropylene propylene delta. I talked about the fact that we were able to place 100% of the production both in domestic and export markets, primarily in domestic markets, which gave us better margins. And finally, we were able to even see a slightly better margin environment across our polyester chain. So demand growth, placement in India, softness and feedstock, all this added up to a record margin environment for petrochemicals. We now move on to upstream. Uh, we do see some improvement in our upstream business and uh, the financial numbers are slightly better than last quarter. It still is not material to our business and at EBIT level we were negative in this quarter, though slightly better than previous quarter. As far as production is concerned, uh, domestic gas production at about 26 BCF is 19% lower than previous year from natural decline. In our shale gas business, production was nearly 45 BCF, but also lower by 10% as compared to previous year. You might recall that given the tough commodity environment along with our partners, we are not engaging in any development activity right now. So, तो चलिए क्वार्टर वन मुनाफा पर बोलते हुए इस वक्त रिफाइनिंग बिजनेस में मांग में बढ़ोतरी यहाँ पर संभव है ऐसी संभावना यहाँ जताई गई है